Hey everyone, this is Scorpion from How To Do. Today you guys will be learning how to make a simple Android game in Unity using Playmaker. So uh, let's get started. First thing first, what you have to do is you have to have some kind of a scene. I have this scene. Uh, it is real new screen uh, scene right here. So uh, now what you have to do is you have to import Playmaker. I am already importing it. So if you don't have Playmaker, go ahead, click the link in the description box below, which should look something like this go to any of my uh, channel uh, description you can how to download playmaker for free click that guy and it will lead you to a video and in that video you will have this download link as well as you will be uh, taught how to make uh, how to import uh, playmaker so you will download this playmaker package over here and you have to double click that double click that and it will do this and you have to do this all of uh, all that stuff which is shown in this video all right so yeah just have to import it so I'm already importing it right now so it will take some time so there we go playmaker is actually imported so if you import the playmaker you will find these uh, four uh, folders so if you import and if you want to check you have imported the playmaker correctly you will go to any any game object and you have to say add component and say fsm and you will see this fsm right here this is uh, what we are going to use all right quickly delete whatever i made so brand new scene with only playmaker imported next thing you have to go ahead and import this guy how to do touch system the link to that is in the description box below you just have to import uh, download that and double click that and there we go it's starting to download uh, so there we go imported and uh, three folders and uh, there we go uh, one folder of how to do touch system you have to in and uh, you will find these three folders in there one is these guys uh, these these scripts which I made for you guys these are the scripts which you will need to make the Android game for yourself. And then these are the prefabs and uh, scripts. All right, so you don't have to go inside them. I'm just quickly showing you guys. These are the actions for the uh, you see fa actions for the. Okay, what's this? Uh, you you won't ha have any kind of uh, this. Uh, error because I will uh, solve all of these errors for you so you, you don't have to do anything you just have to import this guy and you are good to go now that's that let's just go ahead and create a plane start making the game for ourselves set the scale to uh, set the position to zero zero and zero so that it becomes right in the center of the uh, screen or the scene then we have to go ahead and add a kind of a player let's just go ahead and add a a sphere for change because i all always add a uh, box a cube so set also the position to zero 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 and there we go this is our simple scene let's just go ahead and add a folder of materials and inside we can create a material for our ground as well as not ground ground and duplicate that and we can call this player so the ground will be some kind of a black and there we go and I think player is good already like this and yeah we can we can change it for uh, or we can do this there we go awesome and to make your game look little better you can adjust the camera like this so select the camera and say Control shift F and it will snap right where you are in the scene view the camera will snap right where it is alright just like that so you can this is a little trick over here then you can go ahead and remove the sky box to make it pure white kinda like that there we go so now it looks little better as it should okie dokie or you can make it black as you wish uh, like that okay it's, it's all up to you we're not discussing how to make your game look better we are discussing how to make an android game so we can change the name of sphere to player 
and we can go ahead and add an FSM in there and first thing first what you have to do is you have to get the direction where you want to where the player wants the character to move around we can do that by saying how you can see so you can see right here it is it says how to do touch so you have to go in there and there you can see these actions which I made uh, for you guys so how to do get access how to do get access vector how to do get button down get button down get button up all right uh, these uh, uh, these how to do actions means these are for Android and touch system all right uh, I, I wrote how to do behind them so that you guys can uh, can see that I made it for you guys so so you have to say how to do get access vector double click that and that's that now you have to go ahead and uh, store that vector into something I will call it input uh, vector and that's that now you have to make your character move right so you have to say move and you can say simple and it's called controller simple move that's that now it will say game object requires character controller component just, just click it and there you go you will find the character controller right on top of it there we go awesome and move vector is the same input vector the speed you can choose it like like seven or I can say five four and that's that now you will see if I play the game and if we make uh, if we say WASD it will start to move but we don't want it to move with WASD we want it to move with the joystick right so you can go to how to do touch and prefabs and and not here here there we go you have to go to the how to do touch how to do the first one and then how to do count Cont uh, sorry controls and then these prefabs and there you will find this button joystick other joystick and touch and uh, swipe pad all right so we can use joystick if you want just drag and drop the joystick over here and press F and it's not shown because there is no uh, canvas so you have to just go ahead and say three uh, create and UI and a canvas 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 where is the, where the heck is it canvas there we go already and then you have to drag and drop your joystick inside the canvas and BAM there is the joystick alright and there it is you can make it little bigger if you want like this there we go bring it little over here and BAM now you can see the joystick is already set to horizontal and vertical and you if you go to your layer and there you can see horizontal and vertical so they are actually match with each other so that's great now you can also change the the uh, shape of this joystick like you can change this uh, picture of these guys like you can change it however you want but I think it's already set I don't want to change it and if you play the game you can see it actually works there we go bam it works but you can see the joystick actually moves like that we don't want it to move like that and <laughs> it's all on the screen so that's not what we want so how to do that movement range is 50 okay move base snaps to finger move base I don't you have just have to do, do not move base all right uh, okay and sensitivity curve and I think movement range is good and if we play now you will see it will not snap it will not move where it should but it snaps to where it can so that's that's good that's a good thing like like if if our finger is over here it will go over there but we don't want it to be like this so that's awesome all right and I'm loving it and that's that and you can see it uh, the the speed of the character actually depends on how much you move the joystick if you move it real quick if you move it real far away it will move fast and if you don't move it you move it little it will move little okay I guess you're getting what I'm saying so so that's that hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel which is how to do 
and if you want you can also donate me some money through paypal the link to that is in the description box below make sure you donate me some money and i will really appreciate that and hope you guys enjoyed if you want some more tutorials go ahead and subscribe to my channel and leave some comments below that you want to learn something else hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video till then be cool